Through These Doors, presented by First Community Credit Union. Ah, uh, uh, is it bad? Like, has it gotten worse, I mean? Like, you think we'll have class tomorrow? Oh, I don't even you have class, class tomorrow. tomorrow. I just, I, just, I think the sleeping's kind of nice. It was a much anticipated homecoming Friday as North Dakota was back at the Ralph for the first time in almost a month hosting UMD. The main thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, a little bit of handling diversity, right? Had a little stumble this last week. We've had a pretty easy year, not too many injuries, not too many losses. We recruit you guys, big part is how much character you got. And I think kind of the, how you handle adversity is a little bit of a measure of a man, measure of a team, okay? Other things about handling adversity, looking in really, right? How can I be better? What can I do to help the team, all right? We know we got tons of great guys in here that are pulling together. We know we're all willing to do the right things for the team. Now it's our chance to go out there and show it. Shift by shift, we win battle after battle after battle, then we win the war. Let's freaking go. Up top, Livanovich to Blake, walking down, shoots, scores! Jackson Blake with his 18th goal of the season. One to nothing, new ending. Gaber starts it away at center ice. Perron is in, shoots, scores! Jaden Perron gives North Dakota a 2-0 lead. Britt to the Minnesota Duluth line, into the middle of the shot, a goal by Gaber! And a big goal in the last minute of the period to make it 3-0. To Blake, left side, Berg, look, shoots, scores! Power play goal makes it 4-0. Olsen, he copped it up. Here's Blake moving in. He drops for Berg. He shoots and scores. Cameron Berg gets another one, and it's five to nothing. Livanovich to Schmoltz. His pass blocked at the blue line. A save by Person and a diving save on the rebound. As wide open was Blake beyond him. Person turned to back. As we get down to five seconds remaining in this one, North Dakota will stay on top in the NCHC with a six to nothing win over Minnesota Duluth here tonight at the Ralph. Once again, and welcome from the Palace on the Prairie, Ralph Engelstead Arena in University of North Dakota after an exquisite performance for North Dakota last night against the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs in a six to nothing victory. North Dakota looks to sweep the series here tonight. Late winds and fires, fan out of Perron on the doorstep for the rebound. Last night, Jim Braun ended a 10-game goalless drought. Now he has back-to-back -back games with a goal. And back comes Blake at center over the Minnesota Duluth line. Put it on in front. They score! What a pass by Jackson Blake. Oh, my goodness. Jackson Coates finishes it off. Piak with it. Pet on the right side. A shot from there. Look out! They score! To make it 2-1. to one. Out to the point for a one-timer, a shot, and they score! It's a tie game. Across the line is Dylan James, trying to cut to the net, got three, and he scores! The speedy Dylan James, and North Dakota takes the lead at three to two. Lofted out of there, down in the Bulldog zone, racing after it, here comes James again, he scores! Oh. Dylan James caught up with that one in the Duluth zone and beats Thiessen and it's four to two. The Ralph Engelstead Arena faithful back on their feet. A sweep 
and a fifth straight win here at home. Show your school spirit with an exclusive UND Fighting Hawks debit card found only at First Community Credit Union. Nodak closes out the home schedule of the regular season with Western Michigan on this senior weekend. With home ice for the NCHC playoffs and the Penrose Cup still up for grabs, the attention to detail and focus is high. Yeah, it was a huge bounce back, especially in the first game on Friday, just that first shift getting down, getting heavy, getting back to a, the game we play. And the Ralph has been super electric, just like it was last year, and we love playing here. There's no place like it. The crowd's unbelievable every night. Obviously, getting home ice and, and playoffs will extend that. It's just super exciting. You know, around the rink, everyone knows this is the time of year you play for. I kind of just feel like it's almost playoffs now, so you just got to dig deep, keep playing our game. We just have to really worry about ourselves and focus on the details. Play good defensively, stick to our games. Just good defense, good details, tracking hard. We've earned a spot at the top of the standings here, and I feel like if we just keep playing how we've been playing, we'll find success and we'll stay up there. I mean, the top five is pretty tight in this conference, so we can't take any game lightly, and these games will be huge. I mean, it's a little different, because usually this time of year you played everyone, so it's kind of like scouting a new team and trying to figure all that out. I honestly think it's the first five is going to be massive for us. I think it just comes down to who wants it more and who's playing harder, especially on senior night when they got all their families. It's a big night for those guys. And, it is a bigger weekend, but yeah, we're still staying focused just for that Friday. Last weekend at home for the seniors in regular season, and uh, I know how much it'll mean for them. Through these doors, presented by First Community Credit Union. Life is better with community.